guys welcome back to in five minutes in this presentation we are going to see the test pattern generations okay now we already seen the type of faults source of faults okay now this type of faults particularly stuck at 0 and stuck at 1 is there now let us consider one example of system in which we have got several inputs and outputs to which how we are going to define the faults or how we are going to find out the taste pattern generation now there are several number of faults are there to which we need to design the test patterns and from these state patterns almost we will try to find out all the faults in the minimum taste patterns okay for that we have we need to consider one system having n inputs and m outputs so let me draw in system so what we have here is a system okay which is working on several inputs and several outputs so if i say there are n inputs and m outputs of the system okay then there will be set of faults so set of faults are f so what i say here is there are f faults okay and number of test vectors required to find out this f faults the total number of test vectors are so therefore test vectors total number of test vectors are equal to 2 raised to n so this value particularly is t is equal to 2 raised to n so as you see the formula is 2 raised to n where n is the number of inputs so there will be plenty of test vectors okay so we don't have to use all the test vectors okay so we will find out the smallest subset so we will find out the smallest subset of the test vector that is we call it as v okay which will cover all the faults okay <coughs> now it is not possible to cover all the faults with the test vectors but we will find out some test vectors out of 2 raised to n suppose 2 raised to suppose we have 4 inputs so 2 raised to 4 that is 16 test vectors are there so instead of having 16 test vectors we will choose 5 test vectors which will decide or which will finding out the all the faults almost all the faults so what is my requirement i can at least find it out 98 percent of the faults should be detected with this smallest subset of the test vector v this should find out all the faults or minimum 98 percent of the fault should be found out by the smallest test vector this is my approach towards the pattern generation okay moving, moving on to the first session that is nothing but the fault simulation now with the help of these test vectors or the smallest subset of the test vector what first point i have here is fault simulation now for this fault simulation i have v vectors okay so we'll consider one vector at a time to simulate the whole circuit and identify all the faults covered by that vector okay so the point is take one vector simulate entire circuit and identify the faults now one vector can identify two or three faults but not all the faults okay so we have to go step by step for this i have a circuit here once again our system is to be defined so this system is having x inputs so that is nothing but the system is having x0 x1 to x of n minus 1 inputs because the total number of inputs we are considered is n whereas the system is having some outputs 
which are nothing but y0 y1 all the way to y m minus 1 as we know that there are m outputs to the system okay now this output y particularly y value it can be 0 or it can be 1 okay so let us say that 0 value is with fault and this one value corresponding to without fault okay so now what is inside this circuit let us say there is a AND gate which is driving out several circuits inside this system this is a whole digital system so I will name it as digital system 